John saw, John saw of the glancing of the sun. He said, This is the land who gave out his life and would all the way the sins of the world. This is the land who gave out his life. Don't teach others to take the word for granted. Your duty is to put into practice the words of God that you receive and achieve righteousness in your life. I do not call you to come and impute sin on people, but to come and live a righteous life. If you impute sin on anyone, you stand condemned, no matter the height you have risen. That position does not warrant you to impute sin on anyone. Your rank or position in this fold cannot help you. What is required is purity and righteousness. The reason John the Divine and our Lord Jesus Christ are always mentioned together is because of their righteousness. The greatest position here is righteousness. It is written that the children of God shall judge the world. This is so because the children of God are expected to be righteous. Whatever position is given to you, you have to practice righteousness to conform with your position. No position is higher than righteousness. No position is also permanent except righteousness. Go into the world and practice righteousness. It is only when you are righteous as a child of God that you will be given the right to judge the world. Let me use this opportunity to declare to all of you that you were called into this kingdom to judge the world. Therefore, you must be pure and blameless and practice righteousness. It is an act of rebellion to teach others to take the words of the Father for granted. As soon as you do that, you stand condemned immediately. If you teach others to reject the Father's orders, you will be condemned. Whatever language you use here is not important. The important thing is to practice the Word of God. Go and tell the world that this is the time for them to accept the Word of God and practice it. Even if the person lives in a skyscraper or under the water or a hole in the ground, go there and tell him or her to immediately begin to practice the words of God. Now that you are going to the world to preach as a fornicator or a liar, how will you convert others to righteousness? Do not arrogate any achievements to your personal effort. The moment you do so, you have condemned yourself because it is the Father who does everything. If you claim to do anything, you have put the Father to shame. Are you aware that you have the seal of God on your forehead and that wherever you go, all spirits and angels must bow to you? It is the Holy Spirit that controls and not a human being or the flesh. Do not be led to believe in error that BCS is at Calabar or at Lagos. Know that BCS is in heaven and its inhabitants are in heaven too. Those in heaven practice righteousness. A stroke of the cane is sufficient to teach the wise. Thank you, Father. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu Compiled by George Morales this is the Lamb who gave out His life and who took all away the sins of the world. Those who came before Him were thieves, they were robbers. He said, This is the Lamb who gave out His life and who took all away. Sins of the world. This is the land. This is the land. Sins of the world. All sins of the world. Those he calls are those he has chosen.